welcome back to the CS Workshop, people. Uh, it's a Sunday afternoon and we're quite busy around here, so you'll have to excuse the mess. Um, I just want to show you something. Um, we have just tried something new. It's, a, it's a slightly different from what we've done before. It's basically the same process, but we try to do it in a new and better and easier way. Um, and this is basically how it went down. Um, this is one of our latest generation of engines. It's one of those which has a three-piece inner liner, a convergent part, which is the bottom part of the bell shape, the convergent part, which is on the way down to the throat, and then the cylindrical part, which makes out the rest of the inner liner. Uh, those were the ones we had, uh, the convergent and divergent part were CNC machined, and then we welded it together. Now, uh, it's still not, uh, we still need to do something more before it becomes an engine, and one of those is attaching the spacer which will form a support between the inner and the outer part of the cooling jacket. We need a, a reasonably well-defined uh, clearance between those two walls, otherwise we won't get an, a uniform fuel flow which basically cools the inner liner and prevents it from melting. Um, and we have so far been using, the space is just two millimeters wide, that's the, diff that's the, the distance between the inner liner and the outer liner in the cooling jacket. We've been using uh, round copper wire, uh, two millimeter diameter to do this before and we uh, we silver soldered that to the uh, to the inner liner we've done a number of different versions of this now some of it what was done as a full uh, a full soldering silver soldering in a ceramics oven with an inert atmosphere we have done some of it with uh, with the acetylene torch uh, in a much more manual way and doing one strip at a time there are eight strips, so it, it does take some time. Now, this latest uh, version, we we found some some stock copper, and it's it's uh, it's flat copper, so it's two by four millimeters. It's uh, we don't have to do any cutting or uh, modification of the copper itself. We just have to cut it up to length, and then we uh, attempt to 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 solder it to the inner liner. It. So far, the experience is it seems to be a bit more tricky than the round ones, uh, in the fact that that due to the due to the way that uh, that the round copper uh, attaches or lays against the flat surface, it creates a, a very nice fillet. I mean, the, the 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 silver solder makes a completely uniform and well-rounded filling between the round copper piece and the flat flat plate underneath it. Now this one is a more or less flat plate but with a square piece of copper on top of it. It still leaves some tiny small gaps out on the sides for the silver but uh, it has a, a problem with with making those very nice fillets we saw from the uh, from the round copper spaces. I don't think it'll make a difference at all really because from what we can see so far and all the the, the host bands we tried to remove from the inner line again, which was stuck in silver solder, seems to indicate that the heat conduction is phenomenal. Uh, and the heat conduction away from the copper will only be phenomenal if there is a nice uniform layer of silver uh, between the copper and the wall, so that it conducts the heat away from the copper very efficiently. Um, however, it, it does seem it, it's more dif much more difficult to get this uniform soldering, so we might have to go after it for a, a, a well, a tune-up, and then do some manual uh, soldering still, every every here and there where where the where the silver seems to have uh, behaved oddly. But basically, the result is is pretty good. It still takes quite a bit of time, but. Um, I don't think we really have any alternative right now. It's something that works, and we've done it with the other engines. Uh, none of them have have uh, have been destroyed yet, so it seems the process is is fairly robust. So we'll just we'll just continue with this for the time being and see if we can come up with something even better. But for now, silver soldering of flat copper strips that works as well.